So tell us what it looks like. Like where, where do people say when they're down there, you know, mm -hmm. how are they, in? what kind of clothes do they need to take? Do they need to bring tools? Yeah. How, what does that look like? Yeah. Um, you don't need to be prepared. We don't need carpenters. We don't need skilled craftsmen um, at, at all. And uh, that's why we took Bill and um, still got the house. <laughs> <done>. <laughs> yeah, these are these are soft office hands. Yeah, I'm in the real estate business, but um, let, let's face it. Um, it's a good thing we have inch and a half trim. We can cover up, you know, any mismarked, miscut, mismeasured <laughs> wood <laughs> in drywall, thankfully. Um, we just need people that's got a, got a heart for serving um, is all. I mean, we, we start kids as uh, young as six years old uh, and up to when we've had grandparents that are in their 80s that um, sat in a chair and, and really provided encouragement and helped out and painted a little bit when they could. Uh, wow. but we, we have about 20 people that go down and we just bring your work clothes. Um, that's it. Um, clothes that you don't mind getting dirty and painting in and, and the crew takes care of the rest, meaning uh, YWAM. The, the staff is incredible. Um, they organize the entire trip. Uh, my wife, uh, right. I won't take anything away from her because she does a lot of organizing and, um, you know, hurting the, the cats, uh, all of us that go down there. <laughs> when we get there, YWAM really kind of takes over from there. We show up on the site. We have orientation the day before, and then we show up on the site. All the tools are there. Uh, we show up with a, a slab of concrete, a pile of wood, the generator, and and then the, the YWAM staff, the builders, um, they tell us what to do and measure this, cut this, nail this. And and there's usually a, you know, a handful of us that have been on these uh, before that we can kind of assist and know what to do. Uh, my uh, my 15 year old daughter knows how to build a truss and uh, roof a house now, you know, from memory, she can tell anybody um, how to do that. But we, it, there isn't uh, any any skills necessary or required. Anybody can paint. Anybody can, uh, you know, nail a board and, uh, you know, there's nothing too dramatically technical about these uh, houses that we built. That's awesome. It's funny. I, I, I look through the pictures that we had and you know, speaking mm -hmm. of the, um, the kids that live there, live there mm -hmm. that have nothing, nothing, they have nothing. They're still smiling and, and laughing yeah. and having fun. But you were talking about the paint. I think I saw more paint on the people than I saw on any of the wood. <laughs> and every single time uh, that, you know, we, we encourage them to get involved, whatever they want to do. But then, uh, yeah, as soon as those kids come over, I mean, they don't have too many changes of clothes. They don't have too many clothes period. And um, so when they start helping out, they never change. They just start uh, painting them, whatever they get on. And it's pretty much ruined by the time they're done, <laughs> but they're not shy. And, and then it usually at some point it becomes a game uh, with the, the other kids that we bring down as well. And, uh, yeah. You know that's ministry too. We're we're it's just good work that uh, that our kids are doing with uh, with those kids, and um, everybody walks away with just um, an incredible positive experience. That's awesome.